Uh, as, as you pointed out, you had a fairly prominent role in the uh, Jindal administration. Would you care to express as to uh, how, how actively involved you may be in helping him to succeed in his presidential quest yeah, that will be sure. announcing in a couple you know, of days? I, I, I got to tell you, I, I, uh, I really enjoy uh, that job, that work, uh, the, the, the progress that we made um, in, in making communities in South Louisiana more resilient and restoring the coast, making the, um, the ecosystem more resilient. Um, uh, one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life and being able to make a difference in people's lives and, and making our community more resilient. Um, I, I, I wouldn't trade that for, uh, you know, for, for other jobs as it was a, um, you know, just a good opportunity. Um, you know, number one, uh, I, I think it. Uh, I think it'd be great to finally have a president from Louisiana. Uh, we haven't had one of those, um, and I think that'd be fantastic. The other thing is, is that in, in the Republican Party uh, right now, on, on that side, um, you, you have a number of fantastic candidates that are in the race, and um, and, and I think it's great that we're going to have an opportunity uh, to have good candidates um, out there for Americans to be able to, to choose from. I, I've, um, I'll tell you from my perspective. Uh, seeing a change in the administration is something that I very much would welcome, and, um, and, and I look forward to, uh, to watching this race evolve. All right, thank you. Short term solutions beyond what we have done now. All right, so uh, you put me here, make me king for the day. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a few things that I think, uh, I think are possibilities. Uh, number one, um, in the vicinity of the Washington Street exit, I want to be crystal clear I'm not saying close Washington Street. It is the only place in the nation where the interstate system drops down to one lane. That is it's ridiculous. We need to fix that immediately. Um, I think that there are potentially some solutions in there that will not have an adverse impact on the adjacent community. Um, and I think we need to prioritize that in, in regard to preventing that bottleneck that, um, uh, that, that backs up across the bridge. Uh, LA-1, Gulf Adventure Coastal Waterway, the access on the west side of the river needs to be fixed. I think we need to make improvements to LA-30, Nicholson, <coughs> everywhere from downtown LSU, down into Ascension Parish, where it, uh, it reaches uh, the Cabela's uh, I-10 vicinity. Um, there, there are some uh, short-term improvements that um, are being looked at now between I-10 and Ashland uh, on LA-30 there. Um, the old bridge needs some rehab and improvements to make sure it remains a viable option. You're probably aware of a uh, AECOM, a private firm, has put forth about an $800 million uh, unsolicited proposal uh, known as the bump that would improve, um, uh, it would make some significant investments in airline highway from I-12 across the old bridge, uh, connecting in 415 on the west side. Um, I think that we need to improve access from 415 on the southern side of the interstate, connecting into LA-1, we need to improve LA-1, and we need to improve access to the Sunshine, Audubon, and the uh, Gramercy Wallace Bridges. Um, uh, those things that I said, those aren't, you, you're not out there, well, with the exception of, of, um, of the, the, the um, connection from 415, uh, Lobdell to, to LA-1, you're not talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. In many cases, these solutions, shorter term solutions, lower dollar, things that can be done within the next several months or maximum next two years. Those are things we need to be knocking out of the park right now. We need to be prioritizing and getting done. Concurrently, as you know, there's a study that the Department of Transportation has kicked off that is gonna study improvements from Lobdell 415 on the west side all the way to the 10-12 split. Um, that study, uh, again, should have been done 40 years ago. And, um, uh, but, but it is going to uh, use traffic models uh, to help propose some additional solutions. Ultimately, we need to bridge. Just one other thing, if you don't close the road, what might you do to help with I, 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 uh, I'd like to figure out if we can if we can reconfigure the existing footprint uh, to accommodate the lanes and, and, and you know, look, I'm not going to stand here trying to be a transportation expert but I'll, I'll, I'll throw out a few things is it possible to shorten that exit lane um, and, and squeeze a second lane in there within the existing footprint which would largely be restriping as opposed to repaving um, and so I think that there may be some opportunities along those lines. Again, being sensitive to the community there, but um, you got to think about the, uh, the the extraordinary impact that that bottleneck has, and that the, the, the road backs up for miles and miles. Mm -hmm. so you're talking about probably a second lane between the bridge and the exit. Yeah. 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 Oh, you were